Hello everyone, Chris from Excalibur Comics, Cards, and Games here again, here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Stay tuned because I'm about to tell you what's coming out tomorrow, April 10th, 2013. Out from Marvel Comics this week, Age of Ultron, issue number 5. Still continuing the story by Brian Michael Bennis and Brian Hitch. And things are heating up as the ragtag team of leftover Avengers and other heroes find themselves in the Savage Land and are finally beginning to act on their plan to take out Ultron. Pick this issue up. We also have the previous issues 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the shelf, so if you're behind on the series, you can pick up every single issue and get caught up this week. Speaking of Avengers, Uncanny Avengers number 6 hits the shelves this week, written by Rick Remender, with art by Daniel Acuna. Check out this issue to see the epic fight between Apocalypse and Thor and what may be the repercussions from that battle. Everyone's favorite X-Men hits the shelves again this week. Wolverine number two, written by Paul Cornell with art by the fantastic Alan Davis. We see the events from issue number one unfold. Also, a surprise visitor at the end. Check it out, see what it's about. Talking about X-Men, Uncanny X-Men number four hits the shelves this week, written by Brian Michael Bendis with art by Chris Bocciolo. Be sure and check out this issue as this issue seems to deal more with Ilana Rasputin. Also, you get to find out which of the original X-Men that traveled through time to be in the all-new X-Men joins Cyclops' team. Secret Avengers number three hits the shelves, written by Nick Spencer with art by Luke Ross. This issue focuses on the Iron Patriot, and you find out what his deadly secret is. Talking of Age of Ultron, we also have an Age of Ultron tie-in issue this week, which is Ultron AU, following Victor Mancha, a previous member of the Runaways team. This is actually a child of Ultron. Pick up this issue to find out how he fits into the Age of Ultron and what's going on with him. DC Comics is still rolling out their issues with the gatefold covers. This week we have Constantine, number two hitting the shelves, written by Jeff Lemire, Ray Fox, with art by Renato Guedes. Be sure and check this out. There has been no change to Constantine. If you loved him before, you're going to love him here in the DC Universe. The Wrath of the First Lantern continues here in Green Lantern Corps, issue number 19, written by Peter Tomasi, art by Fernando Passerin. If you are behind on getting this storyline, we have the issues available here in the shop. So be sure, come by, get caught up on this storyline this week. Fan favorite DC comic Batman by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo hits the shelves this week, taking a look at who could be Bruce Wayne's greatest enemy. Be sure you fold out the cover to see who could be. In case you haven't heard the controversy, Batman and Red Robin, 19, hits the shelves this week. And when you open up the gatefold cover, it has a surprisingly familiar face. Could this be the new Robin? Time will tell. Check it out. Tell me what you think. Image Comics hits us with The Walking Dead 109 this week. We've talked about this series. This is a must-have, must-read series. If you're not on board, get on board. We have the trade collections available, as well as pre some previous issues available here in the shop. Get caught up. Find out what's going on with The Walking Dead. One of our favorite image series that Randy and I have talked about before, Saga number 12 hits the shelves this week with this particular issue focusing on The Robot Prince, written by Brian K. Vaughn with art by Fiona Staples. This is a series that you need to get on board with. You will not be disappointed. After the weekend mega sale, we are wiped out of pretty much everything related to Saga, but if you come in, you can have it ordered and you can also pre-order the second trade. Add this series to your pull list. Out from Dark Horse Comics this week is X-Zero. This is actually a collection of the X story that was printed in Dark Horse Presents. It's collected here into one issue, the Zero issue, to get you on board and kind of caught up before number one hits on May the 8th. If you're a fan of Punisher and that type of hyper-violent superhero crime fighting, this issue, this series, is right up your alley. So be sure and check out x Add it to your pull list. Thanks for watching. Thanks for pressing play. Thank you for your response and turnout for our mega sale that we had this past weekend. It's always an awesome time for both us and for you. Great savings throughout the entire store. And be sure that you're on our mailing list so that we can tell you when our next mega sale is. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe, share, and like this video. Until next time, have a great day.